Good afternoon. We're real close to afternoon anyways. Mike and Dave Elkins here. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Got an outstanding show for you today. We want you to go ahead and begin liking and sharing. Right, Dave? Those That's are right. the big things. Like and share our video. Uh, that way we can get as many people on watching as possible today. Got a great show for you. Got some really good information that we're going to give to you today as far as some things that you need to do um, uh, to make your search of a realtor be a little bit better and be a little bit more productive. Yeah. Uh, we're going to give you that information today. We've got a poll question we want their help with. We're actually going to be using some information that we took from the last poll question um, to talk about today in our show. So uh, again, the information you guys give us is invaluable. And we really appreciate that. We thank you for tuning in today. We're going to get this thing cranked up and started, get our intro going. Go ahead and begin liking and sharing our video. Let's get as, let's fill the house today. What do you That's say? Right. That's right. We're going for the biggest and the best today uh, in the show. So we're, we again, we appreciate those that have already began tuning in. We thank you for doing that. Like and share the video. We'll be right back on the other side of this intro for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. Presented by Elite Realtor Group. We will see you just in a minute. And we are back. Happy Wednesday, October the 4th, 2017. Right, Can you believe it? We're in October. It's October. Already. The Walmart's got the Christmas stuff out. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. they like skip Thanksgiving yeah. and Halloween, yeah. right? Yeah. Totally went for Christmas. But we are in October, October the 4th, 2017. Show number seven of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by... Elite Realty Group, we thank you all for spending your lunch hour today with Dave and I, giving you some real estate information, talking some happenings that's going on in our world today, poll question, all of the good stuff we've got going on today. And, and again, it's October. So Show we're Show number seven. By. That's hard to believe. Number seven. Number Can't seven. Can't believe that. Well, what was the date that we did the first one? Was it like August? Uh, yes, it had to be the end of end August. Of August, yeah. Yeah, the end of August. So we're having a great time. What is it? We do something special. Don't ever so often that you're supposed to celebrate your... Yeah, I believe we got to go a little bit longer and see shows. Though. Yeah, yeah, after we get, I don't think we can do that for seven. Although we're always looking for a way to celebrate anything. Yeah, if there so. can be food and cake or anything like that involved, we're all about it. Which but is where mom's at today. That's exactly right. Yeah. Mom's at an open house today um, with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know that they're tuning in to watch us there today. So we appreciate you all for tuning in at the open house and watching us today. Hope that we give you some very good information, but we are chugging right along. We thank you as always for tuning in today, watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. Now, just a couple things we want to do, just a little homework before we get into tidy some things up. The voting for the People's Choice Awards. Yep. It ended actually on Monday, yep. this past Monday. We want to give a huge shout out to all of you, absolutely, that took your time, went on there and voted for us. Again, we could have never gotten the top three if it wasn't for our fans. Right. And we really appreciate you doing that, getting us to that. Hopefully, we got enough. I believe we've won the whole thing. We're, you, we're not I'm going optimistic. to know. Yeah. I'm optimistic. We're not going to know until the 29th of October. That's when it's released. That's what I think, anyways. In the Citizen Tribune, they Is that on give a the, Wednesday? I think it's on a Sunday. Okay. We'll yeah. say, they don't want to see us flipping this table over if we yeah. find out we didn't <laughs> if get we lost. Right? <laughs> so, anyway, that's going to be released the end of October. We just want to give a shout out to you and thank you. Yeah. A lot of things that we do that we started at our company, this show, our videos that we're doing, the Where's Norma, all of those things that's happening. You guys have amazed us just how you've took to that, watching it, supporting it, sharing it. 
I like the video. We did a video yesterday. We went down. We got a good friend sells cars down at, at the Hyundai dealership. We went down, did a video with him, get him some publicity, us some publicity. There's been over 4,000 people seen that video since yesterday. Right. And over, I think it's like twelve or 1,500 have clicked on it and watched it. Right. Just since yesterday. Yeah. I think it's 1,300 what I just saw. That's crazy. But yeah. that's all because people sharing it, liking it, helping us promote it. When you do those things, you're helping us as our business. I told somebody the other day, somebody I said, you know, how'd you guys get the idea? And I said, well, it was just an idea for us. We just thought it was something yeah. we'd like to do and try. It. And he said, it seems like it's going really good. I said, we couldn't do any of it no. without the people who watch yes. us uh, and sharing it out there. That, that sharing it out there is huge. That's where it goes. Because the yeah. people we don't know that you know, right. it just snowballs. Right. And it takes off from there. So like and share us. Like, and that's why we're always asking you to do that. Like and share us today. But we appreciate you with the People's Choice Awards. Appreciate you with everything we do at our office. Again, if it wasn't for the people, we couldn't do anything. Yeah. we got to have people to list and sell their house. we got to have people to help us, our vendors, our people that watch the show, our family, our friends. Man, we thank you for that. All, all of that, it all kudos goes out to you guys. We thank you for doing that. Today we've got a poll question, though. We want your help today on a poll question. Um, here's what we want to know today. When you're looking for a house, put your answer in the box here, but let us know these things. When you're looking for a house, what's the number one feature that you look for in a house? Is it everybody always hollers, location, 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 that's the number one thing. But is that your number one thing? Yeah, I think it's starting to get towards kitchen and uh, I think it's changing a little bit. master bedroom. I master agree with you. Master in there fighting. I think it's changing just a little bit how these, what people are actually looking for. I think location's still big. I think it's still big, yeah. But I don't know that it's number one. Yeah. So you guys tell us that. What's and the I number one? I say that one? about kitchen, but do you also see some of the new construction that's being built very small. They got small kitchens. Yeah. Very small yeah. kitchen. And I think a lot, we don't cook no more. Yeah. We don't cook at all. So no I think way. that's why that's happening. The kitchen, I think, is shrinking. And is it location? What's the number one thing you look for as a feature in a home that you would purchase? What is that? That's our poll question And I today. have come up with my own poll question. Okay, go ahead. tell you about. Go ahead. Yeah. I like so my poll this. question for yeah. the day is, yes. is... You know, I've stuck with tradition here. I know where this is going. I've still got my bow tie. I know where this is going. And Mike has decided to come in here with no tie on today. Well, you know, that's just how it happens. (laughs) So I want to know, would you rather see him in a tie or do we need to start wearing tank tops and flip flops in here? So I think we should stay with the ties. When Dave came in today to my office, tore me up, and he saw that I was dressed the way that I was, which I think I look pretty good yeah, here. I wouldn't yeah. have wore it here if I didn't think. But he had tore him all to pieces. He's like, "Where's your shirt? Where's your tie?" And I'm like, "I've got it, man. This is me. You get what you get here." So, two poll questions then. Yeah. What's the number one feature that you look for in your house? And is my attire? Is it he okay needs to have you? a tie on, though. Is it okay? Do I have to have a tie on to be on this show here and sit with Dave? This is what I told him. After. I said, well, you know what? Just next week, you can do it all by yourself. Yeah, so, sure. But he thinks I'm going to be in here next week shirtless with something. <laughs> Nicole said we are to paint something on our belly. You don't want to see that. Yeah, no. So, yeah. What do you think about it? I think my attire is fine. So, hopefully, you think the same thing. So, again, thank you for watching today. You're watching Lakeway Area. Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Got a great show for you today. Here's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about and giving you some information on some questions that you need to be asking when you are hiring a realtor to work for you. Did you say hiring? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Why? Is that bad? No, no, no. I don't think people realize that. Oh, I don't think they do either. That's why we're going to give you this information. You actually hire a real estate agent, a realtor to work for you. We're going to be telling you what all is involved in that, but also what questions you need to be asking when you are doing that, when you're having those things. So again, poll question, number one feature you're looking for in a house. Second question is Dave's, is my attire okay? That's the second one. We've got a couple good answers here Mm -hmm. uh, so far. and I'll Give it to us. Okay. So first, Sabrina says we got October colors. I think she's talking about you. Maybe a combination. I don't know. I like it. uh, But uh, Christina Hurley says 
the bathroom with double sinks. I do hear this a Big lot. Time. Bathroom double sinks. That way her husband can't fuss about all the accessories <laughs> of hers on the sink. And then Sabrina also says the size of the house would be the most be important the big thing. thing. So not really where it is or what it's got, but how much it has. How much of it. How big that it is. So those are good. So y'all keep answering those questions for us. We're going to try to get to everybody's, at least recognize you today as you answering these. Number one feature you're looking for in a home. And again, is my attire okay? Dave really thinks that I'm at really bad dress today. So answer those. But before we go to our first commercial break today, I want to bring this up because I think that I think just needs to be um, recognized today, but the tragedy in Las Vegas. It's bad, yeah. It's a bad thing. You know, it's, it's a really bad thing. Our thoughts and our prayers going out to all those people that were affected. You know, there were people that were from all over the world there yeah. Uh, yeah. watching the concert and enjoying the time, having time with their family. I saw one guy was from Tennessee. Did you I see that? I think I've seen a couple, yeah. Yeah, that, that actually lost their lives. Our thoughts and our prayers go out you know, to all those people that was affected by that. I mean, it's the it's the largest that's ever happened in our country. Yeah, we live in an evil time. That's what I'm going to say. We do. Yeah. We live in an evil time. The only thing that can help this is we need to get on our knees and pray. I mean, right. that's that's what the Bible tells us to do. Is if my people called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin. I'll heal their land. We need to pray for our country. We do. You know, if you're watching this today. Take time. And, you know, they always have this moment of silence. I ain't going to ask you to do a moment of silence. I'm going to ask you to pray. Pray that, you know, again, I said this just a while ago, and I'm, I'm getting on a tangent here, so I'm going to stop quickly. But I said this a couple of weeks ago in a sermon at the church, and I said, right now at this point in time in our country, we don't have to worry about ISIS or Al-Qaeda or whoever that is coming over here and killing us because we're killing each other. Right. We're eating ourselves from the inside out. Right. And the only way we're going to be able to get any help with that is if God helps us. Mm-hmm. So we need to, as God's people, we need to get on our knees and pray. Again, our thoughts and our prayers go out to all the people that was affected by that, that will be affected by that. Our prayers are with our country, our leadership, everyone that's involved in that. We are praying for you and, and God speed to you and hope that again that, you know, the very best. It's still a lot of people that's hurting, still a lot of people that's critical. So again, if you're listening to this today, if you're watching this show, take a minute of your time today and pray for those people. If that was us, yeah. I'd want somebody praying for me. I mean, we're going through this whole thing life together. Absolutely. We might as well make the most of it and enjoy our time here. I totally agree. I totally agree. So you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. When we come back on the other side of this commercial break, we're going to be talking about the questions you need to be asking when you hire a realtor or a real estate agent. Our poll questions today, the number one feature that you look for in a kitchen. Diane's got the kitchen, all right? So number one feature you look for in a house, put that in there and help us out today. The second poll question is, am I dressed okay? He, I'm just saying he needs, he could wear the vest. I like it. He needs a tie on. I, I wore the vest week four, maybe. I don't, I don't know, know what it was. Out, so. It's really killing him that I ain't got a tie on. So, and you know, am I... this commercial break, he's got ties in his room. I might go <laughs> get him a tie. I know. And, and make me wear a tie yeah, yeah. when it gets back. So, again, we thank you for watching today. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. Like and share the video. Try. Like and share. Let's blow this video up today. Get as many people on that we can as watching today, because when we come back, we're going to be giving you the questions questions you need to be asking a realtor when you hire them, a real estate agent. We'll be right back on the other side of this break. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. We'll be right back. Are you still surfing the internet, looking through all the papers and books, trying to find your next home? No wonder you're frustrated. Your friends at Elite Realty Group have good news for you. We've designed the most user-friendly custom website to meet all your real estate needs. From custom search options to finding out what your home's worth, full color pictures and tours, 
along with buyer and seller info. Elite Realty Group TN.com is ready to work for you. Be sure to visit today Elite Realty Group TN.com. That's Elite Realty Group TN.com to search and save your next home. We are back, and you are watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty, Elite Realty Group. We get the comment from Andrew on the break that Dave's talking more today, yeah. and he likes it. The so we're box. Gonna, Dave's going to take over this show, <laughs> totally talking today. He can't control himself. He's 100% out of I've control. I've had two cups of coffee. I've had a nice <laughs> coffee and a hot coffee. It could be all Dad has out, right brought here. me a nice coffee. He, he, he's just tried it for so the first time. So you drank two today. cups of coffee before you ever came in you drank the iced coffee on top of that yeah now we know why dave's talking yeah. more so he's pumped up today yeah. so again you're watching lakeway area real estate talk live presented by elite realty group we're going to be giving you now some questions that you need to be asking when you hire a real estate agent now you brought up a good point earlier that i think we need to explore just a little bit before we get into these questions yeah. that we need to give these people to ask you a lot of people don't know you hire a real estate agent. Right. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that before I got into real estate. I did not know that. But essentially, that's what you're doing is you are hiring a real estate agent, a realtor, to work for you, right? Mm -hmm. To get your house sold or even on the buying side to represent you as a buying agent. If you was hiring somebody to do legal work for you, mm -hmm. right? you would probably want to make sure you're hiring the right person. Yes. You're being picky about that. Right. You're asking the right questions. We want you today to know what some of those questions are that you need to be asking because you do need to be hiring, you need to be hiring a realtor to work for you in getting your house sold. And I just thought of this and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget to say it. And so, um, yes, they're hiring us. Right. Buyers get to hire us and don't have to pay us nothing. I know, yeah. So, but think, most of the time, yeah, most of the disclaimer time. Disclaimer there, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the time, yeah, they do, and and we work for them for free, right? That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. You can't beat that. So, most of the time, the seller pays that the the funds, the commissions, whatever you want to call that. That's why he's saying that. But here's some things you need to ask. All right, you need to do some homework. Yeah, do a little you research. need to you need to check these people out. You need to if, is it, if you've ever went to a job interview. You need to be the person sitting on the other, you need to be the CEO sitting on the other side of the desk doing the job interview, right? So Morris says, how many years experience do you have? Yeah, we're going to be going through <laughs> that. And then the first thing you need to ask, all right, here's the first thing. Let's just jump right in. How long have you been in residential real estate? But more, more than that, Charlotte, more than that, everyone that's watching, the time that you've been in real estate, it does play a factor. It does. But it's not as much of a factor as what you want to tag on to that question. So you want to know how long have you been in residential real estate, but you want to know more than that. Is this your full-time job, mm -hmm. right? Again, if I'm going back, I'm using the legal advice person today. If I'm getting legal advice from somebody and I'm going in to get a lawyer to represent me in court, I don't want somebody that's a part-timer yeah. most of the time. Yeah. There are realtors that work part-time. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. These are just questions you probably should be asking to make sure you're getting the best service, the most bang for your buck that you can get. How long have you been in residential real estate? But more importantly than that is, is this your full-time job? And, and with the years of experience, I'll, I'll say this because I, I hear this a lot. Uh, you know, it's great that they've been in it for 25 years. Sure. It's great. Have they evolved with the right. times? with the times. That's why I said earlier, time is important because you can't experience is something you can't teach. No. And so I wholeheartedly agree, experience, time in the business, it's an important thing. However, we are living in this age that stuff is changing faster than we can keep up with it. And we try to be pretty much on top of that curve. Yeah. Uh, it's changing technology, evolving, 
how real estate's being bought and sold. Mm-hmm. If you're not keeping up with that, right. you could have been in it for, again, 20 plus years, and it's literally running off and leaving you in the dust. Yeah. Where, again, this is what I'm going to use. Some hot shot new kid could come in that can run this technology like crazy and look like Superman. Right. Right. right, right. Now, that still doesn't give them that experience. So that's where, again, you are hiring this person. Interview them. You interview them. You might want that 25-year veteran. That might be what fits your style. And then on the other hand, somebody might want that hot shot that's got this stuff yeah. right at their fingertips. Yeah. They can get this done. They can get it fast. That's why it's important. When you're doing this, when you're these questions, you are to interview two or three people. Yeah. That's a minimum. Yeah. You are to take your time because, again, you're getting ready to entrust someone to sell your biggest asset that you have and have ever had. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure that's the right person. So put them through an interview process that at right. the end of the day, you can say, well, you know what? I think this agent, I think this is the one. I right. think this is the person. So, again, question number honestly, one. Sticking that sign in the yard and putting your stuff in the newspaper is not... Well, that's not the time. It's not. We're not in that time. We're not there. We're not there. No, we we, uh, God love it. And the books. I mean, even yes. the books. You even the books. The books are great. Mm-hmm. But what happens late. is, and let's explain that just a little bit. Here's why we're saying newspaper. Now, are there people looking in newspapers? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Are there people looking at books? Yes. yes, they are. But here's what happens. you got a good listing. If you see it in a book, if you see it in a newspaper, it's probably done been sold. Right. Because somebody saw it online. We can go online instantaneous. Yeah, it's yeah. it's just right there. Just like this show. We're right here. You know, it's live. You can do the same thing with those listings. So the people, that's where all of the consumers, the majority of the consumers have moved to that. Right? Right. right. They've moved online. I can't so, tell you when the last time I got a phone call from somebody who said they saw it. In a newspaper. No, I can't either. Can't tell you the last I mean, again, it happens, and I'm not ditching that. Right. It happens. Yeah. However, if that's not well, the, the way that it's going. That's, that's not that's the hot not, thing. No, that's not, not how it's thing. going. So, again, first question you should be asking when you're hiring a realtor to sell your house for you, to represent you and get your house marketed and sold is, how long have you been in residential real estate? But don't get hung up on that too bad. How long have you been in residential real estate? And two, on top of that question, is this your full-time job? By this being at their full-time job, they're probably on their game. They're on top of things. They're, they're, they're looking and doing and, and they're in the right arena. It's hard to, again, compete with a full-time person if you're only doing it part-time. Mm-hmm. That's why we say ask that question. Right. Because real estate can be done and is done by several people right. on a part-time basis. Right. That's your decision. Is it wrong to hire a part-time person? No. 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 Not at all. That's your decision. But that's why you want to do the interview. And I think it's going to come back to, again, whether that's uh, two months in the business. Sure. Working at one day a week. Yes. Um, what is that? 25 years. It should come back to knowledge. And Charlotte just kind of said that it's good that you know you need to check about the knowledge, see yes. what kind of knowledge they got, and are they going to be available when you need them to show houses? And Absolutely. Stuff like that. I so wholeheartedly agree. I wholeheartedly agree. So these are just some questions again you should ask for those that just came in. Got a good crowd on right now. We are giving you today the questions you need to be asked when you're hiring a real estate agent. Before that, we've got two poll questions today we want you to participate in. Two poll questions. We want you to give us your answer. First, like and share our video if you're just here. Blow it up right now with likes and shares. Like and share the video. But first poll question is, what is the number one feature you look for in your house? And we've got some varieties here. You know, we've got some varieties. Got a lot of things. We're going to try to get to them and through them here in just a little bit. But what's the number one thing you look for as a feature of your home, location, kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, what is that? 
Only one. Number one thing you look for. The second thing is Dave has made his own poll question. He's very <laughs> upset today that I'm not in a tie. He needs a tie. And somebody agree with me. So poll question. Stick to the tradition. <laughs> Show number seven. We've always had one on. Why we come in today with no, no tie. tie. It's Killing because me. I'm a rebel. Yeah. You know, I'm a rebel without a cause. So no tie today. So poll question number two is, is it okay for me to be without a tie? Calm down just a little bit. So we're talking about, though, the questions need you need to, to be tie. asked. The first one was, you need to ask how long they've been in residential real estate. And right. on top of that, is this your full-time job? Number two is, here's number two, and it's a biggie, all right? But what specific methods of marketing, all right? What things, what marketing systems and approaches do you use? to sell my house. In other words, we t we've told you now, this is a seventh show, and I bet we've said it every show because it's the truth. Two things gonna sell your house, price and marketing. So if you've got the marketing, tell me, show me what that is. You want to be asking the questions, what type of marketing are you gonna use that's going to get my house out right. there that people are going to be able to see it, look at it. You're going to get eyes on it. You're going to get people walking through it. What is that? In addition to what is it, show it to me. Right. Show it to me. Take me online right now and show. Notice that I did say online. Keyword online. Yeah. Online is what you want to look for there. Take me online right now and show me your marketing. Right. Any person should be able to pull up their phone, their iPad, their computer, get online, show you the marketing right then and there. Ask them for a listing presentation. If they're, if they're listing your house. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here. Ask them for, to show you their listing presentation. Their marketing presentation. Their marketing their presentation. Their marketing presentation. And that should include, here's how I'm going to get your house sold. Right. Now, again, this is what we tell people. We have something at Elite Realty Group called a cancellation guarantee that we give to everyone that lists their house with us. Here's how the cancellation guarantee works. It says if you list your house with us, you can cancel at any time, no questions asked, even if you don't like my tie color. You can or cancel like your listings color. with You can cancel your listing with us. Here's why we do that. Here's why we do that. One, we want to give our clients peace of mind. Mm -hmm. We want to let you know, hey, what we're standing here in your living room, what we're telling you, we're not just feeding you a line of junk, right. but we're going to do what we tell you we're going to do. So you need to ask for, what are you going to do? Yeah. And they should have it in a format, a good full-time tech savvy agent that's on their game that's really wanting to make a living and feed their family in this business they're going to have this information i think it was tuesday you said at the sales meeting but and and so when you said that made me think of this anything you do you got to have a plan Absolutely. so that that's kind of what you yes. need to say what is your plan to, to get, get my, my house, house sold? Sold. yes right. because again you're entrusting us to do that if we're just flying by the seat of our pants it's i mean is that who you want to say you have? it's not going to happen <laughs> this is what i've said and i've said this many times i say this to our, our sales agents all the time but i asked the question i've asked this at church and in preaching and a lot of these things but i've asked a question before are you known and i'll ask it to you are you known worldwide are you known to be the best cake baker in the world you're going to say no you no. can't even bake cake I so cake. are you known for that it's no now wide, but now here can you bake the best cake in the world maybe i don't know it depends who judge it yeah. however let's go a little bit further if i gave you the recipe from the person who is if i gave you betty crocker's recipe and Betty Crocker makes the best cake in the world, and you follow Betty Crocker's recipe to the T, can you make the best cake in the world? Yes. Absolutely. Same scenario with your house. There has to be a plan. Right. There has to be a goal. There has to be a direction. Without that, people just lost. They're doing what you said. They're flying by the seat of their pants. So you, as a consumer, you as a home seller, you need to sit down and say, all right, what's your marketing plan? Right. How's this going to be done? Where's it going to be? Is it going to be in books? Is it going to be on websites? Where, where, what, how, all that stuff, you want to know that. Oh, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's just good information that's going to lead you to making the right hire that you've got the right person trying to sell your house. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. We are giving you today the questions you need to be asking when you are 
interviewing, hiring, whatever you want to call it, a realtor to sell your house. Last one, all right? Last one is how many days does it take you to sell the home? All right, what is your average? If you're so good and you've got all this stuff and you're tech savvy and you're full time and you've got experience and you're on top of your game, mm -hmm. what is your average days that it takes you to get it sold? Right. I can tell you in the Lakeway area, you remember what it was from the meeting yesterday? 160 something? Yeah, it's, a, it? <laughs> it's, a, it's 140 some days 140 right something. now as the average days on the market. As far as the whole market goes, that's everything through in. Ours at our office here is like 72 days. So we're like half the time here. They should be able to tell you that. They're mm -hmm. tracking that. They should be able to give you that information. That gives you then, all right, this is the averages. This is a track that we're going to run on here. Right. This is some things that I should be expecting some stuff happening. Right. 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 Those are some questions you should be asking when you're going to hire a real estate agent. Let's throw, let's throw one more. Go let's one more. One. It's because I like this. I said we had it down here. But uh, it's about getting contacts from their last oh, yeah. people. Oh, yeah. I agree. I, I think that's I think that's you. You should ask them for, uh, you know, can I, give me some contacts of the last people that you dealt references. with. References. Yeah, I want right? references. I want they references. They do that at a job, don't they? Yeah, sure. I say I need some references so I can call and verify. That's so what I'm saying. Ask them for references. This is a job interview. It's a job they interview. They should have that. Now, even more than that, here's what I've been asked for, asked for from before. Give me the last two you sold and give me the last one you didn't. Yeah, see what the people who say You can tell a whole lot by when it didn't go right. Mm -hmm. It didn't go smooth. Right. You know, it didn't happen. Right. Talk to those people. See how see how all this yeah. played out. Again, that's just doing your homework. That's just giving you... Because you want to make sure you make the right hire because the right hire, the right person working for you is going to get your house sold fast, right. especially in this market. Right. Price and marketing, price and marketing. So you want to make sure you've got the right person helping you with the price and doing the right marketing on your home. That's some things you need to be asking. Some questions you need to be asking when you are hiring a realtor to work for you. Like and share our video. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back on the other side of the break and give you the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week and some area happenings. Two poll questions today. Two poll questions. One, the first one is, help us out with this. For those that have just joined, several just come in, what is the number one feature you look for in a home? Is it the location? Is it the kitchen? Is it the bathrooms, bedrooms, size of the house, yard? What do you look for? What's the number one and only one feature that you look for in a home? Poll question number two, Dave's really tore up. That I don't have a time. Somebody on here said you on, looked okay. I'm trying to figure out who Well, I appreciate it that I do. Marie but, but, uh, Fix says, yeah, you look great. Wear whatever you want. I appreciate Come that, on, Marie. Marie. I Come appreciate with me. that. Stand in the middle of the tie. tie on. I don't have to have no tie on right now. Maybe next week I'll put my tie back on. But question number two is, poll question number two is, am I dressed okay? You know, is everything looking all right? Am I just, Dave thinks I need a tie on. So give us your thoughts on that. We'll be back right on the other side of this break. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. And we will be back with the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week right on the other side of this commercial break. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss this house. Are you a real estate agent in the Lakeway area looking to take your business to the next level? If so, Elite Realty Group in Morristown, Tennessee is the place for you. We pride ourselves on agent support through training, teaching, and coaching, giving our agents the knowledge to be the best they can be. You owe it to yourself to explore this opportunity to see what awaits for you. Your success is at your fingertips. For a confidential meeting, call or text me today. Michael Elkins at Elite Realty Group, 423-748-5327. I look forward to answering your questions and assisting you on your journey to the top.
And we are back. You are watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty, Elite Realty Group. We thank you for taking your time for watching our show today. On the break, on the break, they brought me in. Which one do you think here? This one? They brought me in my tie. Yeah. So I've got a tie on. This makes Dave feel a whole lot better. I look like I'm one of them graduates right now. <laughs> you know, I got my stuff on here. I look like I'm one of them. Yeah. So you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Two poll questions today. Before we give you the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week in the Area Happenings, two poll questions. Well, one poll question now. What's the number one feature you look for in a home? Right. Number one thing. Only give us one. Number one thing you look for in a home is it location, bedrooms, bathrooms, size of the house, yard, all of that stuff. What is it that you look for, the number one feature you look for in a house? Right? Right. So we want you to help us out with that. Like, 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 and share our video. We cannot get through these without these likes and shares. Yeah. Your shares, your likes, they're what put us over the top, get us the views to the people that we need to be seeing these videos. Today we talked about the questions you need to be asking when hiring a real estate agent. So hopefully you had got this information. If you're just now joining us, go back when the video is posted and watch the video all the way through. You'll get that information, like and share a video. We're gonna go now, Dave's gonna take it over. And we're gonna go to Dave now and he's gonna give us the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week. Take it over Dave. All right, it's 1474 Friends Station Road and that's in Newmarket. Uh, it is a three-bedroom, two-bath mobile home on 1.51 acres with creek. It's 1,700 plus square foot split bedroom. Uh, it's got a large open kitchen with a bar that looks over into the open living room. It is, a, I think I said split bedroom already, uh, but it does have a double oven and a smooth top stove. Tons and tons and tons of counter uh, space and cabinets. Uh, it's got two fireplaces, a wood-burning fireplace and an electric Bluetooth fireplace, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can play your music and all that stuff through it. It's got a great backyard. I was actually out there Monday and showed it, and it's got a perfect spot for a fire pit down by that creek. It's just, uh, it's really, really nice, and it's priced at... Ninety nine nine. Ninety nine. Only ninety nine nine. Yeah. He is How much a, acreage again? Uh, one point five one acres. That's awesome. And uh, he is offering. It's two thousand eight double. What if I didn't say right. that? And he is offering a one year home warranty. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great, great, great home. As you saw in the pictures there, um, something. If you want to see that more information about it, make sure you give. Oh yeah, that's my list. Yeah, I was going to say. Make sure you yeah. give David a call. That's his listing. He can tell you more about that, give you more details, whatever you would need for that. If you are watching this video today and you want your home to be featured as the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week, you need to give us a call and we will give you the information about what you need to do to get your home featured on this show here as the Lakeway Area or as the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week. Dave, what's happening in the area? Let's see here. What's going Georgetown on? Georgetown East is off this week, ain't they? I think so, yeah. Let's see here. Okay. What's happening in the football world? Okay. Let's go to football first, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this Friday, 730, Morristown West goes to Jefferson County. Jefferson County. Uh, let's see here. So Granger County. Well, my computer's running off slow. Granger County goes to Chucky Doak. Gotcha. That's up in Greenville, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Davy Crockett comes to Cherokee. Gotcha. Uh, those are all Friday night at 7.30. So around the area here, there uh, there was uh, some stuff going on in the citizens. Still quilting, I see. They're still quilting, They're buddy. Still quilting. You. We're going to have to have a quilt show. That's hey, all there is to it. There's a quilt off going We're on. We're going to have to be then. quilting. That's just all So I can see say. us in here just knitting around like that. We can like do it. Uh, we can I do mean, it. We is that what quilt quilting show. is? I don't knitting. Know. I, I have don't no know. idea. Anyways, them people's been quilting for about three weeks down there, and I'm telling you, they, <laughs> but me. Yeah, they're building a blanket to cover the whole something city. Something big, that's for sure. Tell them about that one there. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna make sure give a shout out to them. Rise and shine, cruise in. Uh, yeah. This is going to be Saturday the seventh. 
uh, up at Shady Grove, Free Will Baptist up in Whitesburg. It's right. got a country Highway 113. Break. Yeah, it's Highway 113. Yeah. Country breakfast is served from 6 a.m. to 10.30. Cruise in. Check-ins begin at 8. So uh, that's a car show. Yes. And they're going to give a dash plaque and a goodie bag for each car. It's a $20 entry fee. And then additional cars are free. Oh, door prizes. That's right. Door prizes and awards begin at eleven thirty, and all the proceeds go to Shady Grove Youth Group. Yes. So, so make sure if you want to go see some car, get a good breakfast first. That's right. What time? Six thirty. Uh, starts at six, uh, from six to ten thirty. Six to ten thirty. You want a good breakfast? Go up and eat your breakfast. If you got a nice car, bring that car and show that off. All the proceeds will go to benefit the youth at Shady Grove, so that's something you can participate in. Hey, outstanding show today. Would you agree? I think it was good. Like us up. Blow us up. Love us up. I've got my tie on. I'm dressed now to succeed. We appreciate you watching another episode number seven Seven. of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. We could do none of this without you, our fans. We want to thank you today for watching. We ask you to continue to like and share our videos along with our Facebook page. New videos coming out every day looking inside of our office on our Facebook page. So we thank you all for doing that. Like and share our video. We'll be back with you again next Wednesday at noon. You get to spend every Wednesday lunchtime with us and we could not do this without you. So continue to blow us up. We will see you again next Wednesday, noon, 12 noon, right here at for Lakeway Air Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next Wednesday. God bless you and we will see you next week.